For one Ackworth couple, Happily Ever After is not a fairy tale. It is real life. They've been together for the last 27 years. It's a great, great story. And their inspiring story is now published in a popular book, Chicken Soup for the Soul, New at Six. They tell Atlanta News First Amanda Rose about finding love a second time. If you don't believe in miracles, you haven't met Frida and Charles Dixon. Our meeting was a miracle. Meeting such a special person was a miracle. The Ackworth couple's whirlwind romance is something many of us only read about. Now, thanks to Frida, you can do just that. Love at first flight, page 297. Their romance of 27 years is published in the June edition of the popular anthology series, Chicken Soup for the Soul, All You Need is Love. The story Love at First Flight is named after their first date in 1996 up in the sky on Charles's airplane. Charles was a pilot and aerospace engineer, but Frida calls him her Saint Superman. After her first husband died, Frida wrote a list of qualities she wanted in a dream partner. Charles had them all. I couldn't help but think this man can fly. Maybe he's my Saint Superman. Before that airplane ride that sealed their fate, the two met right here at First United Methodist Church in Marietta at a singles event. The two danced together and the sparks were immediate. It, but Frida had a big secret. I didn't figure that anyone would want to invest their life in mine. In 1980, Frida was diagnosed with a rare and debilitating liver disease, and to survive, she needed a transplant. When Frida mustered up the courage to tell Charles, his reaction surprised her. The first thing he said to me was, I hope you have insurance. Just three weeks later, Charles popped the question. Three months after that, the two were married. Today, their hope is their love story inspires others, especially seniors, not to give up on finding true love and to keep faith. As long as God is in your life and you're committing your life to him, that he will provide for you. In Ackworth, Amanda Rose, Atlanta News First.